The New England Watercolor Society, one of the most prestigious watercolor societies in America, was founded in Boston in 1885. Their spring 2016 signature member show runs through February 27th at the Guild of Boston Artists, 16 Newbury Street. It's my pleasure to welcome Dawn Evans Scaltredo, the Society's president, and Wendy Hale, vice president. Thank you for coming, ladies. Thank you so much for having us. All right. Now, first of all, let's just talk about the history of this organization. I understand that you've had, when it was the Boston Watercolor Society, you had some very prestigious members. Absolutely. Um, Child Hassam was a member. John Singer Sargent is an honorary member, as is Andrew Wyeth. It was started by the, um, the artists in Boston that were interested in water media at that age. And it's, it's gone through many years with many famous artists and wonderful people that are exhibiting at the Museum of Fine Arts now. In 1985, I believe, we changed our name to the New England Watercolor Society to allow more regional entries into our organization and we've grown over the years to almost so now you have the catchy initials news acronym news wendy is everybody that's a member of the uh new england watercolor society a professional exhibiting watercolorist or do you have classes and events for dabblers let's say we have signature members as well as associate members associate members can become signature members by getting into four of our regional shows, one being a national show as well, within 10 years. And some of the people are professional artists, some people teach, um, some of our associates teach as well. And um, it's a, all walks of life. It's people who are retired, it's people who are young and have been painting, just want to get into watercolor. All right. now. We don't have time to go through every one of the people that were honored at this particular show that you have, but maybe you could mention maybe the top three medalists and you know give a brief you know, sentence or two about them. Well, sure. We have 85 different artists that are exhibiting. They're all either uh, watercolor, acrylic, gouache, anything water media that's on paper. Um, so it's a real variety of things. Uh, our gold medalist is Maria McCarthy. She's an artist from uh, Connecticut. And her painting, The Home of Cezanne, is absolutely beautiful. The, the judge said that painting was outstanding, and no other painting in the show compared to her. I did see it on the website. And how about the silver medal? Which one did that go to? That's Robert O'Brien's painting, Blue Silk, and it's gorgeous. He's also doing one of our demos on a Saturday. We have three demos that are coming up on Saturdays throughout the month of February. And where we exhibit there every year, that's traditionally what we do is we have the artists that are in the show come and demonstrate and show their techniques for their paintings. Admiring fans. All right, right. and the bronze medalist? Uh, that went to Paul George and his uh, painting called Winning is a seascape, very traditional watercolor type of painting and really captures the essence of sailing in a boat race and feeling like I'm winning. So, well, th this is just a taste of, of some of the ones that people can see. Now, um, do you guys meet, I, I mean, do you have, uh, you know, opportunities for watercolorists to paint together or to, uh, besides these workshops in February, do you have other classes or things like that? Well, we have an annual meeting that's coming up in March, and that we welcome the public to our guest speaker is going to be one of the exhibiting artists and also an award winner, Andrew Cussman, who did, who did a beautiful painting that's in this show that won the very first Guild Award. So it's actually bestowed by the Guild of Boston Artists where we're exhibiting. And um, he's going to be a great keynote speaker. And he's a past president. He was president for four years as well. He teaches professionally in uh, Plymouth. So is, is watercolor more of a solitary uh, I know people, you always see them in the movies and stuff, taking a sketchbook and, you know, uh, painting out on the things. But I guess there's people with, from all walks of life. I mean, certainly it, the sh images that we're showing to the viewers and the ones on your website, they're, they're dauntingly beautiful, as, as you said there. But, um, you know, some people just might like to, you know, they have an urge to do it and, and to refine the technique, you know, as... 
how, how do they go about that? I mean, do you refer them to classes or what? We refer them to classes. Sometimes people contact us and say, who would be good for this? Who would be, you know, who do you recommend as a beginner artist, you know, beginning watercolorist? And we, rec we do recommend them. Our website has all sorts of um, our members listed as, and people can give information list their information. We also offer workshops throughout the year. Uh, Wendy just completed one that she, she ran the workshop and, and actually participated in it with Susan Weintraub who was just featured in the Artist Magazine and was in the American Watercolor Society show. We have world-renowned artist Mary White coming in September of this year when we do our North American Open Show up in Gloucester at the North Shore Art Association. So we do offer these world-class workshops and other events and exhibits throughout the year. So join, become a, an associate member or check our website and you can find out about all these wonderful opportunities. And paired with the, uh, the Weintraub Workshop in February, we just had a our first Boston Arts Weekend where we had a tour of the Boston Public Library, a private tour of the Museum of Fine Arts with their watercolors and comparison of watercolor versus oils. And then we had, um, we went to the Lyric a stage yeah. for the Sondheim and Sondheim to round out our watercolor workshop. If we weren't tired enough for, for more <laughs> painting all day, we, we were done by the end of the weekend. Well, but I, I think it's good that people know, especially since people can now create images on their home computers, yes. that there, and there is even, you can draw a picture and then press a button and it supposedly turns into a watercolor. <laughs> Not that it, it, it really does look like that there, but that people want to learn the craft, especially one that has such historic roots here in Boston with such prestigious uh, painters. And um, so is, is, is watercolor booming or is it uh, you looking for new people or... It just seems like this is at a very high class thing there. I'm not sure somebody who was beginning would you know, dare to come in. Oh, and they should. Yeah. The, the Wine Torab workshop people said, I'm just beginning, is this okay? And there were definite beginners, you know, people who hadn't paint, painted too much and others who had painted more. So it was, it was very, it's a wide range. All right, let's finish up by giving your website so that people can see information about the exhibit, classes, and you know, mark you as, bookmark you for future things. So what is the website? It's www.newenglandwatercolorsociety.org. All right, that's easy to remember. Yep, and um, I just wanna say, we wanna welcome anybody that's hearing this broadcast to come and see the show, it's wonderful. And if you've never been to an art exhibit before, we want this one to be your first. So right. come, come and All see right. the show. Well, thank you for welcoming, and well, thank you for coming on this show. Thank, thank you for you. Wendy and Don. Thank you. That's it for this edition of Neighborhood Network News. Chris Lovett and the rest of the gang will be back here on Monday night. We hope you'll join us then.